start the recording to oh, okay. okay. All right. Go lick it. Okay. Oh, I'm so sorry, Miss Titi. I'm going to post the attendance now on the chat box. Thank you very much. All right, no problem. Did you get my message from the former meeting? Which which of them, ma? Oh, that she didn't see. It. I was trying to tell you that my phone was low. That I was going to. Oh, okay. Leave yes, the yes, yes. They told me. They told me. They told me later. So I asked them to go for bread. That when we come back. They will continue with their classwork and everything. I saw okay. it later. Yes. Okay. I, I I'm not going to post. In fact, I'm not going to post the attendance now because there are some people that I know. If I post this now, they will run away. So when it's one o'clock, I'm going to post it. Thank you, ma'am. All right. All right. You're welcome. So somebody asked a question before I left. Who was that? Hmm. Who was pressing the apps? No, sorry, I have a question. All right. Like the whole thing is still a bit confusing, even though I noticed I, I made a mistake and I'm trying to correct it. Okay, oh yeah, snap your code and send to the group. I'm using my phone. I know that's why I say snap and send to the group. Okay, okay. Uh, no, no, let me tell you the mistake I made. The mistake I made was actually I started linking it to the the assignment folder. That's the CSS instead of the classwork uh -huh. folder. So when I opened the classwork folder, it wasn't opening. Oh. Uh, so but, you but then, it I'm I'm trying to correct it, even though I'm still a bit confused. Like the after linking the CSS file to the classwork folder. We are, you said we should we should open the that's that CSS page. Is that where we're going mm -hmm. to put in the H1, the H2, the P? Yes, the, the body, the it, selector, uh, the selector and declaration. Mm -hmm. Okay, after it's going to reflect on the classwork. Yes, it's going to reflect on the classwork. Okay. Okay, but it doesn't have anything to do with that or linking the HTML file. It's just that CSS file. It's just you that are CSS just explaining file. something. I just, else. I was just explaining how to link HTML file. Okay, I okay, just okay. explain that HTML file. Don't add it to your classwork. Classwork. Uh, okay, okay, I understand now. Thank you. This CSS that we but but why why is it that so we can't do it on the same else page? Ask the question before before my phone went to. Eh? Why is it that what? I, I we can also why style on what? the same page that we are not styling yes, on the platform. Style. Yes, you can also style on the same page. But why I said you should do extra now so that your code is not too long, right? Okay. And so that. You just focus your CSS on the external and your okay. code is not too. Do you understand? Okay, okay. now I get because I was wondering why we are styling there. Okay, okay. Yes, okay. and you should always, like it, Jamas just said, always click on Control S, Control S to save so that it will reflect to the index.html and it will reflect okay. in your. Okay, so but my own is on auto save. Okay, on the, oh, beautiful, beautiful. So someone asked a question before I went. I cannot remember. Who was that person? So that was help you. Um, I don't know if I'm the one. It was not a question. I was telling you that um, when I tried to link my background image to CSS, it was not working. But it's working now. It's working now. OK, OK. All right, beautiful. So we stopped that the last thing we did was comments, no colors, right? I mean, no background. We saw the background, right? That was the last thing we did. It was background. That was the last thing. And we did the background exercise. So I don't want us to get into these borders, margin, padding, weight, height, and box model. We'll do that tomorrow. Is that clear?
So let's go back to our classwork. So we'll work on the classwork today. We'll work on the remaining part of the classwork. I'll come. All right, so we want to style our image. So before then, who wants to um, share their screen to show me how their classwork looks like? You know, before um, after our markup, I told us to add this body, then this H1 and H2, and this P. So did we do that? Yes, ma. All right, who wants to show me? Uh, I can't show my, my this thing. My Zoom is on my phone, so I don't know how I'll be able to. Oh, oh, oh. Please, can you show me yours? Okay. I'm also using my phone for Zoom, but I can log on to my system now. I can open Zoom on my system now, sure. Okay. Oh, who else is using their laptop and would love to show us? I'm using my laptop. Who? Who? Fatima. Okay, let me. Okay, I closed already. So let me stop sharing. Okay, I'm not sharing. So you just share. Okay. I'm trying to. Okay, I'm sharing. Let me share. So I can yeah. share my phone. Share. Share. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yes, I can see. All right, all right. So this is the all CSS, right. and this all is right. the index. index. Oh, yeah, run it. Run it, let's see. Yeah. Okay. So this is how it looks. All right, all right. So remove that home. Remove that home okay. there. And the image is four. It's four, not three. And it just seems like something is missing. I don't know. Let me check. Your contact me. Yes. Okay, you have your contact me. Yes. Yeah. That your Laura if some is supposed to be after your about me image. Actually. Okay. Okay. Then after your is your um the logo, your name here, your tagline here about me, then image. Coming, coming. Image, then the P that has the Laura Ibsen, then my favorite things, then yeah, a few things I really love. Then four images, contact me, and the three contacts me thing. I think I missed out on that. Here are the three things I love. Do what? I think I, I didn't include it in my own. Here are the three things I love. Okay. Why do you have H3 there? You didn't, your H3 should be directly after the tag. Which tag? Like your H3 that is on line 22. It's supposed to be on line 20. Okay. okay. Like Not three tag. things. Yeah, here are a few things I really love. Okay. Aloma, please, can you show me the stuff we are supposed to put in our side sheet? Like the font size, the font family, so I can put it in my own. I've not been able to make that. Okay, addition. so uh, um, uh, Fatima, open your main.css so she can see it. Okay, this is it. So can you see Fatima's screen? 
Yes, yes, I can see it. Thank you. So that's why you're supposed to have. Oh, yeah, Fatima, run this. Can you run it? Yes. All right. So what's the thing you can notice about the P, about the H1? Can you notice something? The text is not how the text used to be before. And do you yeah. know why? Why? Because we gave it the, an additional font size. Mm-hmm. We gave it another additional font size, yeah. Can I stop sharing? Yes, you can stop sharing so we can continue. Okay. Okay. All right. So now, want to after that part? Well, if you search Miriam's screen. And if you don't have anything like that, then you are wrong because that, that's what you're supposed to have, right? So now we want to style our image. That is that profile image there. So we'll call this image selector. Don't give it. Hello, Miss Kitty. Mother, yes. Miss Kitty, I have, I don't know. I after I've linked the um, the HTML with the CSS. I still can't yeah. get outcome. Can you share your screen? Okay. <laughs> share your Again, screen. I can't. I still. Okay, let me share my screen. All right. <laughs> I can't share it, so I'm not a co host yet. Okay. I thought you were a co host. I'll make you a co host. This is my laptop. I still can't share it. I'm coming. Okay. He wants to play with my laptop and I don't want to. So. Okay, yeah. Try. Try sharing now. Can you see it now? Yes, I can see it. So after I've linked the the classwork, mm -hmm. I mean the index and the main CSS. Mm -hmm. I I couldn't get the outcome. Okay. So maybe oh, yeah. I didn't get the color right. I didn't get the font family right. Yes, you didn't so get just... font size right. Font size you cannot use normal. It's measured in pixels. Okay. So what font what family, pixels? You didn't you didn't label it well. So it's not yet still correct. And when you are done, take me to your index.html HTML. I want to see how you linked it okay. so there'll be issues do you know why who can tell me why there'll be issues with our work that um what's it called that's slash um slash line she put after this um this href mm -hmm. that double then that dot dot Slash. No, that's not the issue, right? The issue is that she kept her index in a folder called okay. index.html. So you can see how far that index.html okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So for you to link it to your CSS, you for for open the index.html okay. before you now access the CSS. Like it's a long process. So don't put that index.html about me in the folder it should be the same way. Way. it should be in your classwork folder it should not be in a folder called index.html okay 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 and you guys should remove that um 
extra thing that you did that I did that extra HTML link. I was just showing at least how to link HTML file. I was not expecting us to put it in our classroom. Okay. So I will do that quickly. And your font size should be 32 pixels, not normal. And your font family should be Arial, Sansari from the last one. You didn't, you didn't write the syntax well. Check the chat. Come again, please. Can you come again for the... Check the chat. For the font chat. Okay. It's on the chat. I've typed it on the chat. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Sorry, Miss Titi, before she closes her screen, I noticed that yeah. her color she did not put the semicolon. That's why her CSS has showing two error. Exactly. On her color, must... there's no semicolon. Exactly. exactly. So can you yeah. on the color? Yes, yes, on the color. You should put a semicolon. No, no. After those um attributes that you give the color. After okay. that, you have... yes. okay. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. And also your font family too. It's not supposed to be within an apostrophe. Yes, you didn't link it and well. The link link it properly. Okay, the font family. It's not supposed yes. to be an apostrophe. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Uh, I'm really impressed. Well done, guys. Okay. You guys can get errors and make corrections. Well done. Everything. Hello? So who else has issues that want us to correct for her before we move on? Anybody? I do go, I've never heard your voice in this class. Are you following what we're doing? Mm. Can you hear me, Adugo? Yes, 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 I'm following. All right. Thank you. Okay, so we wanted to style our image. So we want to make our image. Our image, um, our border is styled in three parts, right? The width, the style, and the color. So if you want a one pixel wide solid gray, you say image equals border, one pixel, solid gray. So being more specific, our border is now, is now applying to all image on the page. So let's try this image border, one pixel, solid gray, and see what happens. So let's do that quickly. Can we all do that? Done. All right. Who said done? Love it. Okay. Can you share screen, love it? I can share. I'm using my phone. But I can snap oh, okay. and send to the group. Okay, okay. Snap and send to the group. Then what if we use that image border one? If you run it, what happens? Uh the image. Uh, there's a border showing around the image and it has Which color. Of the image is it Mask just only okay maybe okay 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 maybe it's showing us is so is it only this your profile image that is showing that or all the images on, on, on all right? images. 
Why? Who can tell me why it's all image? I've explained this in this class. Can somebody tell me why? Is the group, I think that, um, what they call group it's selector. Because of the tag, they are styling the tag, image, IMG. So all tags that has IMG in the index.html gets um, that style. Exactly, exactly. Ah, well, I'm impressed. My students are making me proud. I have smart guys in this room this afternoon. Well done, guys. I love this energy. This is the kind of energy you guys should be giving me, actually. Not like that yesterday energy. I didn't love that yesterday energy at all. I love that. I love that. Beautiful. So we can see that because we use the words image, it affected what? Audio image. Now we want to be more specific on the image we want to use, right? So it must be more specific. We'll use what? We'll give it a class name, right? So I've taught us about class name, how class name works. So this is just explaining it. So let's not waste time there because that's what I used most of the morning to explain. But let's do this exercise, right? I'll not tell us what to do. Just read the exercise. So in the exercise we'll be doing now, we'll say, add some style to your profile image, right? So after you add some style to your profile image, also add a class of profile to the tag for your profile image. Follow this exercise. They say, add some style to your profile image. So how do we go about adding some style? We'll add a class called profile to our profile image. Then target that class in your CSS with the selector image.profile. You can remember how I taught us about using selector and a class name, right? Then add a border of any color you like. If your picture is too big, you can resize it using the width and height properties, which are specified in pixels. Try 20 by 20 pixels for an example on how to use width. So Please, I have a question. question. Sorry, I have All a right. question. Okay, right. it says if we are going to style the um the picture, that's our profile picture. We have to add a class to it. And when specifying yes. it on the CSS, we have to write image dot my profile. Yes. But what if you just write dot um profile? Will the style not work? Because I tried it, it on work. my own. Okay, it will work. It will work. Yes, okay. can you remember earlier when I was showing you something here? I don't know if it's here, I'm coming, I want to see. If I've removed it. Okay, I've removed it. But earlier, I was showing us something, right? Earlier today. And what I was showing us is how that you can have different classes, right? Different name of class. And if it's that is want is a specific class name you want for a specific element. So you can have like three elements that has three different class name called profile. But the specific one we want, we don't want all those three to collect that style. <laughs> it just, it just our profile, just the just our profile image. that has Im uh, yes, your profile that has image, right? So okay. that's what you use. Okay. So do you understand? So that is why we're specifying. It's not like when you still put does my profile, so it will work. It will work. But now we are just specifying to ju just that image that has the class name called profile. So let's do this exercise. So if you've done your exercise, say done. Then we'll see what anybody would love to share what they did. Next one. Done. Okay. If you are done, can you share? Mary Ve, can you share? Let me stop sharing. All right. So when we did that, what happened? Only the profile image. Only the profile image change, right? So remove that other image that had that thing before. Remove it. Just only let your only your profile image. So you can see there's only your profile image that has a border, right? Yes. And you gave you border. Of border we are adding. Yes, just only border for now. 
That's what the exercise. Is it, is it going no, no, to be no. like the same one pixel solid gray? Or are we changing yes. anything there? It can be it can be any one pixel solid gray on it or anything you want. Then you can also add this. They also say you can add width to your width and height to your image. That you should try 20 by 20 pixels. Okay. All right. Thank you, Mary no. Bay. It's 200 though, not 20. Like Sorry, when... 200, 200. Mary Bay, why are you not using it in your external CSS? Oh. No, anywhere you want to use it in, it doesn't matter. So far you get it. So now this is how it should look like. These are your image folder should look like. Do we all have this? If we, if we all did this, can I get a thumbs up? If we did that, can I get a thumbs up? Okay, all right. Well done, guys. I, I love this energy. What did you guys eat this afternoon? That is making everybody active like this. We ate our favorite food. <laughs> <laughs> I can see. I can see that you ate your favorite food. It's showing actually. So let's continue. Let's move to the next one, right? So now, so we want to add more classes, right? Because we also want to style our favorites. So we can do the same to style our favorite things. Since you probably want all four images to have the same styles, we can add the same class to each. Since the four of them want it to have the same class, so we can make four of them have the same class, right? So we just only call that class name. Then we'll add some styles to your image using like width, height, and border. So, more, there are also more stuff you can do. So for add the same way we did for profile, let's also do it for favorite, right? So we'll give it a class name called favorite. Then we we'll use it. Can we all do that? So your CSS will be something like this. And add this border radius too. So if you are done, give me a thumbs up and somebody should share their screen. So I will not stop sharing my screen now. But if anybody is done doing this, let me know so that I can stop sharing so that I can share. I will not stop sharing because I know some people are still using my screen. Okay, Fatima said she's done. So I'll stop sharing, so Fatima, share. Sorry, my one's the border radius. 50%. Fatima, remove that image one. 
that image first one 14 to 16 remove it is still affecting all the whole image it's not supposed to be affecting all the whole image i just use that 40 to 60 to show you how that it can affect all your image sorry which one are you talking about is it my code line 40 line 14 to 16 okay everybody's okay. expected to remove that i just use us to show how that oh. you need um a class right okay so yeah, reload. So can you see? Can yeah. you see the difference? Yeah. Our favorite, our proper image is is what is the only one that has that but that one radius, right? And yeah. see the remaining one that you kept radius size fifty percent. What happened? It has a was circle shape. Mama, mine didn't show like this. Oh, uh, how did yours show? It's still like normal image on. Fatima, I'll put your uh, HTML and CSS so Jama can see. So she'll check if she's doing this anything else. So, can you see? It's the same thing. I Fatima, don't know can you see? Let me show you my HTML so that you can. Make sure that the spelling of this name, I usually copy and paste the name because there are sometimes that you need some alphabet. So maybe you should be sure that this is actually, actually the name that you are targeting. It's still showing the same thing now. Copy the name, copy the name you wrote here and go and the paste it right now. You might be omitting an alphabet. Fatima, I just noticed something in your code. Okay. From your 27 to uh, 29, it's not yet correct. Image. That's supposed to be a link, right? That's supposed to act as an image as a link. So it's supposed when you click on those images, it's supposed to take you to oh. the link as an image. That is the LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter. Okay. I did it in my assignment. I made I, I didn't. I, that one is in my assignment folder. The one you just explained okay. but let me do it here. You know, you gave us that link as an assignment on its own. Yes, yes. And password. you are not writing things in your alt. Try to make use of your alt. All right, ma. All right. Ma, I will send you my screenshot of the button, the email that you write on, on the group chat. Okay. Let me check it out. I'll go and get their individual links later. Hello, Ma, can I stop sharing? All right, you can okay. stop. So have we all done that? 
Okay. I've sent you the my screenshot. Okay. It's on the WhatsApp group. I don't know where the post is coming from. Let So have we all done that? Sorry, please, what are we supposed to do? The one that um, this person showed us, Fatima showed us. Some people have not done it, so I'm waiting for them. Oh, okay, okay, I've done that. Okay, let me share my screen and continue. Yours is not rounded. What did you do? What, what did you not do? The, the screenshot to the group is still the same thing, but it's not rounded. I sent the screenshot of the CSS, the HTML, and the output. Okay, yeah, let me confirm. Um,
Are you DJ Tech? You did not use your border weeks uh, with now. I said style all this thing in your external CSS. Right, Joma. Style this thing in your external CSS. Don't style it there. You didn't use your border radius. Ijoma, can you hear me? Yes, it's there. The fifty percent now is in the um my CSS profile. Or is it the one that I did? And is it the one you also you you. If I didn't use wheat and IT, this wheat and IT I will override the one at the back at the external. So oh, remove okay. this wheat and IT and open your um, CSS and ensure that there is border radius. Okay. All right. Yes. So let me share my screen. So have you all styled all our image? Okay. It's working now. Thank all you, Ma. Right. All right. So let's all read the notes that we have here. So don't worry, right? Don't worry at all. If it seems like there's a lot for you to learn. Is that clear? All right, so let's continue. So now we will get into border radius. I was not thinking we will get into my PC. So if we're ready to move into the box mobile, actually, even all those HTML, that's where Stack Overflow is your friend. If you need to do something, you Mr. just... Mr. Yes. Mr. Please, can you give us like five, ten minutes to make a job, the amendments to our file? Please, just right. like five to ten minutes. No, all right. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, so by one, we'll start box models. 
but I don't know if we'll finish it today. I really didn't want us to start it today. I want us to start it tomorrow, actually. But let's see. Let me give you guys a few minutes. Let's see. Sorry, my is there another image we are styling apart from the my picture and the kitchen picture? Ma? Miss Titi? No, just that soon, just that soon. Okay, okay, all right. Did you know what he's saying? Did you know? No, you've answered. You've answered me. I was asking whether we are, it's only the image that to that my picture and kitchen image that to style. Okay, okay, okay. Hello, ma. Yes. I'm done with my own, but I noticed that my browser, I don't know, it's too big. Everything cannot come out at once in my laptop. Zoom, we do the Zoom. Can you send to the group chat? Let me see. Okay, to the group chat. I will send it now. I'm so sorry. Um, let um, attendance has been posted in the group chat. Kindly fill in your attendance. Thank you. Did someone hear me? Attendance yes, has been posted. You. Okay, thank you, ma.
I have sent it. All right. It's because of your screen size, right? Chinedu, increase it, increase your web page. You see that it's spread. It's because it is in a, is in a, we'll see get to responsive. Don't worry. So it's because it's small. The size is kind of small. That's why it's like that. Make it bigger. Like okay. you minimize your web page. So yeah. that's why it's small. So just maximize it. I've shown you where to maximize. Up here, just come to this small box here and maximize and you see it spread out. Uh, but it's still not showing the whole page. When you spread it out. Uh, everything is not showing. At the moment, your page is like this. You maximize like this. Yes, I've already done it. Is it I better actually... now? Uh, not really. I try to reduce it to know if it will contain everything. It will not contain everything when you reduce it. Can you remember what I taught you about responsive? Yes, ma'am. Send what it looks like now. Okay, let me send it. Oh, should I even share my screen? I've sent it. Okay. Hello, ma. Yes. I've been able to reduce it. Okay. 
You expanded it, Abby. I saw a place for Zoom. Okay. So I started reducing the size. So the people that said I should give them 15 minutes, is it 15 minutes up or you still need time? They said five or 10 minutes, it's already up. Oh, oh. Okay. You can continue, thank you. All right. Actually, I genuinely don't want us to enter into this box model today because I know it's a bit, it's for, box model is for when we're just starting like, a new day. Let's do it tomorrow. Let me look for something simpler. All right. So uh, let me I'm just still having problem. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. I'm still having problem with thinking the file. They are sharing the CSS. Screen. I don't know. I've been Share. trying now. I just can't get it. Share your screen. Are you seeing my screen now? Yes, I can, can see you see it. Yes. Oh, I can't. I didn't see the effect of the CSS on on the. You've not HTML. still removed your index from the and folder. Should I show my? I said remove your index.html from that folder. How do I? Who wants to help? Copy, copy the index that says How do I do copy that? From your... Hello, are you listening? From your um laptop folder, go to this your um easy class work. Then that index the HTML. Copy out that index HTML from that index the HTML folder and move it to your class work folder. Then delete that. I can hear you, yes. Go on, I can hear you. I said copy, copy your index.html. Okay, copy I should that. go to the folder. Yeah, your laptop folder, your, your main, your file, your file explorer. No, no, on the VS code though. Your file, your file folder on your system. Oh, network is breaking. Can you come again? Will I, I am from now. the file or on the VS code? 
no, not not doing it on the VS code. Go to your file explorer, then locate this your classwork folder. That's then that index.html folder again. Then copy out this in HTML. Copy it out. Copy it out. Then paste it on the classwork folder. Just paste it on the classwork for once you open the classwork, paste it there. Then delete this one here and delete the index of HTML. I can't hear you. Let me type it. Let me type it. Okay. Just just follow what she's saying. Like just be doing it now. Open your file explorer, explorer, sorry, on your laptop. Just open it. I can see your mouse over the uh, file explorer. Just click it. I can't hear you again. Your network is very, very bad. Open File Explorer on your system. My network logged me out, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please. So I'm sharing my screen again. Hello, Ijama, can you hear me? Yes, I can. I can. you. Okay, okay, I said go to open your file. Yes, open your file. Okay. Then okay. that's index. Click on that index.html, the folder. I should open it. Yes, open it. Okay. Yes, then copy this index, copy it. Okay. Copy it, or you can just right click on it and look at where they say copy. And go go click down to copy. Okay, I copied it. Okay, then go back. Go back to that class. I can't hear you again. I've copied it. Yeah, go back to the class work folder. Go back to the class work folder. Yes, yes, it is here now. Just paste okay. it. This paste is the classwork folder. Yeah, open it. Open okay. it. Open it. No, not yet. Not now. And then paste it here. Not on any folder. Just paste it. Yeah. I should just paste it. Okay. Yes. This uh, there is already a folder with the name as the file. This file already. Okay, I shall have copied. We have copied it now. Go back and delete, delete it. Open this index of system and delete it first. Okay. But delete, delete this. It. Yes, delete it. Mm -hmm. I should okay, go, go back, back to. Then I should paste it now. Yes. I say in the file is already. The this file is no HTML folder. It is a folder that because it's having the same name, so that's why that error continue to come up. So you delete that one, then paste the index.html. Delete that index. Okay, delete that delete folder. this folder. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or you can rename it. Let me delete it. Did you open it somewhere else? She opened it in VS Code, like the classwork folder and okay, that index. Yeah, that's true. You know what? Yeah. Uh, okay, rename this index.html, then paste. Rename it to something else. See, to make it easy, just should close I close my VS. VS code completely? Close your VS code, yes. Then you just need to copy, no need to even copy itself. Just close your VS code, first of all. Yeah, closed it. Then cancel this one. Have you copied the index of HTML? 
Are you sure it's, it's not opening? It. It's again. No, it's not. It's not opening. That's uh, index dot html folder again. But why did you save the folder as index dot html? You can just say save, save it as index cut. now because the folder it's not a file. Cut, cut. Okay. Don't copy. So that to be easier okay, for you. Cut it. Don't mm. cut. Okay, I better okay. cut it. You can cut okay. it here. Yeah. Okay. Then go back to that class work folder. No, cutting no. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just go back to that class work folder. The class work. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Sorry. Sorry. Um, I should then, go back yes. to the class work. Then I should the paste body. it there. Yes, paste it. Paste it there, right? Okay. Yes, paste it. Keep on skip. Just skip. Stop option again. Very good. Can you close your folder altogether and open it again? I feel like there's Let's something. Let her rename that index.html. Let her remove that dot html. Let her stop. Yeah, the folder is not supposed to be named index.html. Let her remove. She can name it only like it's working. It's working now. Uh -huh. So open your folder in fresh. Then let's see what the problem is. Classwork. Okay. Did I delete this index.html? Rename it. Rename it. Uh, this is the classwork folder now. We so should I add it? Rename it. Remove that dot HTML. That last dot HTML. Yeah. Remove it. Yes. yes. Just okay, put index. Okay. Index is okay. 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 You are not renaming it yet, though. It's not opened anywhere. I've closed everything. I've closed the VS Code. I don't know where. Close it on the browser first. I've read yeah. it. Close the file. It's saying can be completed because it's open Close in another program. Your browser is open. Close your Close browser. It on that place first. Okay. Have you caught or copied it? Yes, it's now on the uh, class work folder. Exactly. So it's okay. Now. So you can now go and open. You can double click on it to open it. Let us delete that index folder first. Let us delete it. That okay. Index delete that that one. Folder. Your index.html file is marked with it, so don't delete both of them. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she deleted the writing. Then you can go back you now. Of VS code now. Go to your VS code and refresh and refresh the folder. Open your VS code.
not opening on the yes good. click on that refresh yes. i will click on this refresh that after that um two new should i run again this is no, it has opened already now is that not it is this not it yes that's that's it okay but why is your okay No, it's, it's not opening what, yeah. again. Yeah, I can't run it from the same house. Um, do you know what? Maybe the, the, the thing is that you have a lot of things happening on yeah, your PS2 yes. at the same time. So it's even so I advise that you go back now. Go back. Go to your VS code. Okay. Now. Go to your VS code. Okay. No, okay. you have to wait or else your system will keep going. You have okay. lots of things. Going on. Ah, okay. Yeah, go to your file. Go to your file. The file. The file ah. that is on here. Delete all file. other things. Don't delete anything again. Just go to your file. Top left. Okay. Go to your file. You can find up. Your file. top left. Decide. Okay, that my file. Up. No, In the go folder. to your file or your VS code. Go to your file or your VS code. Okay, here. Here. File. Yes, click on it. No, not that. The file, the one that has right. the file. Hey, yeah, click it. Calm down. Yes. Calm down. Calm down. Okay. <laughs> so go to file. Very go, to file. Yeah. go to file. Is she not she going to link in her file before now? Yes. Can you see? Go to link my file. I want to give an easier way. Instead of her to just copy it from the file explorer. It's a very easy way. So open your file now. So you have what you're just working on. You're on the class work folder, right? So open folder. Open folder. I love what I'm seeing. Well done, guys. Open folder. Yeah. Where did you say open it? it. Where did you save your index.html? Is it on your... Go to where you saved it. Yes. Is it, on your it. Is it on your classwork? Yes. Click your classwork. My classwork. Yes, click on it. Double click. Let me see things. Uh, double Go. click. Double no, click. Double, or click. Not? double click. Double click. Even if she doesn't, she can just select for that day double like click. that. Okay. Double then. click. You can select for that if she doesn't double click. Double click. No, I want, to, I want to be sure of the number of people. I'll double click it. Okay, the index is not here. Up. Don't worry, the index will not be select there. Just select, select folder. folder. Select folder. Which folder? Select. Just click just on that. Down, select. Down, click on select down. folder. Select folder down. Down. Okay, down, okay, down. okay, okay, okay. Select. Okay. Okay, okay. I've selected it. Okay. Exactly. So like index.html that by your side, yeah. by the left. Yeah. Yeah, just click on it. On the index.html. Yes, yes. On it. Okay. That run now. Yes, no, right click and open live server. Why not do you it? To, uh, hey, it's open to me. Okay, okay. So your images and you are not showing or something. It's just the profile that is showing. You don't need to click on run no. No, the P's are not showing. Yes, it is the way you attached it. You 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 took you are attaching it from your local disk, and you're supposed to attach it from your image folder. So go back to your folder. Let's see your images. Let's see what is inside your image. No, stay, no, no, no. Just this same file that you are on. I'll yes, yes. Click on that. Click on that. Open your image. Click on that um, arrow down. That arrow. That image. 
the image okay. drop down. Do you have any images? The images are not there's there. no image there. Okay. Images there's no image there. There's no image there. Yes, but I didn't save all the images. They are not saved on this file. Yes, yes, you can save them now. Uh, yeah. are not there. This is where you they should save them. They are saved on another one. So you have to go. Okay. I can't you hear you to, again. You have to go and get it from wherever you put it and put it here. Do you know how to do that? Okay, yes, yeah, I'll right. copy and then paste it. Exactly. So when you get it, this all this uh, image SRC, that source that you have, C slash, you delete all of that. So in place of that C slash, you're going to have image image there. Do you get all those your C user slash user desktop dev, all those long things that you have there? It's not going to be there like again. This image is supposed to contain all your PNG files, everything. Can I, your, can your, I let me TV. share my screen and show you. Let's stop sharing. Let me share my screen and show you. Can you see my screen? I can see your screen. Okay. So you can see that this is an image folder. This image folder is supposed to contain my Facebook icon, my kitten, LinkedIn, all the images I'm going to use on my website. This is the image folder usually contains it. So in my image now, let me delete this and show you how it automatically sends it once I have images there. Once I type image, you can see that I brought it out. So you click on your image, then you select the particular image that you want to appear there. Show you get. All right. So have you figured it out now, Anu? Yes, I'm able to figure everything out. Thank you. Thank All you right. very much. Who else needs help or has a question? I'm welcoming questions now.
Any question? Class has not ended though, I'm still here. Some people have even left, so if I know how to do it for them, I should not start box models now. And they left when the class was way over. But I'm not wicked, I won't do that. But better still, um, I guess we can end the recording now. I'll just take questions. So for your homework, read about box models, right? And also practice all that we learned today. Practice all that we learned today and read about box models. Any question? No questions, ma. Are you sure? From my, from my end, though. Okay, this can be an opportunity for people that miss some things, right? Even if it's not today. <laughs> If you miss some things in the past, in the past, mm. and you need a recap, mm. like you want me to help you out with something, can you share your screen? Or can you talk? Let me help out. Hello, good day, Ma. Okay. It's a bear. Hi, bear. Yeah, good day, everyone. Please, I don't really know how it's going to be. But I've missed so many things for like some days now. But I don't know if it's possible or we recap now, or maybe I'll chat to you privately. All right. You can do now. Let's do it now. Don't put my And people on the group chat can even yeah. help out. I trust my guys. So from where do you have the the I I stopped the day we were doing tables. That was it that I stopped since then. It has not been easy. Right. Who wants to help a bear out from tables? Anybody? <laughs> okay, so someone also wants to recap from yesterday. But who wants to just help from tables down? Because we've done a lot of things actually. After tables, we've done um we've done quite a lot of that. I cannot even remember. But Eber, did you watch those videos? Did you watch the videos we recorded? Not really. I've not. <laughs> Since then, who wants to help out? But I will watch it today because I'm free today. Like from today, I'm free. Okay. I'll watch. Then maybe if I have question, I can drop. All right. But somebody is going to do a recap for you quickly. Who wants to? Who wants to? I don't try. OK, I jump my try. It's not in your mind, it's love it. It's who? Love it, love it. Okay, love it, okay, try. Okay. Uh, do I have to share my screen? Yes, you can share your screen. Did I make you host? Close. No, you've not made me host. Let me make you host. Okay. All right. So you got Wait, before, before this one, though, there's another love it. Like, I'm logged in with my PC. So. Okay. Okay, I've seen yeah. the other love it. Mm. All right. Don't your pop. Don't your pop. Ah. Are you okay? Okay. Let me share my screen. Okay, love it. Help quickly so that we can do a recap from the. HLCSS did yesterday on calculator. 
Okay, can you see my screen? Yes, you can see your screen. Okay, so I'm going to start from. So, uh, just like when creating a form, when you are going to create an HTML table, you start with a table tag. Uh -huh. So, you've done the table tag, then you start with the TRO tag. That TRO tag is the table row. Then the next thing you are going to write is the TD. The TD, which is this, this TD indicates the table data. This is the data that is going to be put inside the table. Then for this TH tag is the table heading. So let me run this code for you so you just see it. Okay. So as you can see here, we have the H2, the heading tag, the basic HTML table. Then they start the table, they gave it a width of 100%. Now, after the table tag, you have the table row, which is the CRO tag, the company, the contact, and the country, the company, the contact, and country. These three steps here, they are all in one row. Then the next row is Alfred, whatever, Maria, and yes, these three things too, they are all in another row. So that CRO tag indicates the table row. Why the table is like, so for you start with the table, then you put the TRO tag, that's the table row, then the TD tag is what the table data. Sorry, I made a mistake. This CH tag here is table heading. So that's why it's showing as bold. That's why it's bolder and bigger than the other, um, um, our everything is other rows. Like the Fred and Maria Anders, those ones are the table data. Why the first three are the table headings? Headings, okay. So then, table for table headers, which is C. Then that's just all about tables. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, so Eberi, where you want that message me about um your this thing that your tables that isn't working? No. Okay. Should I continue? Continue, continue. Okay, so I'm not going to talk about how to hard borders. That one is CSS. Okay. So let me just go to list. It's just like a recap, so I can't go deep into everything. Now, list, we have two type of list. We have other list, we have another list. Other list is the type of list that you can write it in any order and it will affect the information you are trying to pass. Sorry, I'm not that, I'm on all that list. Is the type that you can write in any order and it won't affect the information you're trying to pass. But an other list, mm -hmm. it follows a format, a defined format, in order for you to be able to pass the information. Mm -hmm. So now to write um, an unordered list, you start with UL. UL stands for unordered list. Then inside the UL tag, you write LI. LI stands for so you write L -hat tag, and this L hat tag will show you write what you want to show. Yeah, like see this one now. We have coffee, we have tea, we have milk, we have milk, and they are all in the L hat tag. So coffee, tea, milk. As you can see them now, they is showing this um, dot 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 because it is on what that means. I can write milk, I can write and I can write coffee. It does not really matter because it's not for stress or well, whatever information you are trying to pass, you understand? Yes. So and all that list is different. Another list, you have to write it in a specified format. Like for example, now I want to show you a recipe, or maybe I want to do a drive. So I'll tell you, you have to have where the rice, you have to wash the rice, 
you have to put the man to you have to put them there. You understand? There is a, another way of of Cooking things. Another way you have to do those things in for you to be able to make that recipe perfectly. Okay. So this is like an example. See? Coffee, mm. tea, milk. The way you know and others is you usually have either uh, they have numbers or Roman figures or anything to show you that this one comes first before this other one. You understand? This one tell you that coffee comes first before tea, before milk. So the opening the tag you start with, if you want to write another list, you start with the OL tag. Then within the OL tag, you will write the list L high. Then indicate what you want to show, the data or the information you want to put there. So the difference between an ordered list and an unordered list is just the beginning tag. The unordered list starts with UL, while the ordered list starts with OL. Oh, okay. Yes. So now, for example, maybe you'd like to uh, format an unordered list or an ordered list. You want to change the way they appear. Like, you know, the another list, it was dot, dot, that mm -hmm. was shown. Okay, so it was dot, dot, that was shown. Maybe you want to change it to, like, say, a circle. You want a circle to be shown instead of that dot, dot. So once you write the UL, you indicate a style. This thing, too, is just like CSS, also CSS. So this is like an inline CSS. So you want the another list style to show a circle. So you see it here, it's not showing a circle. Okay. It's showing a dot, 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 like we're showing before. Same thing with other list. You can write another list as one, two, three, or as Roman figures, I, 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 either big letters or even have alphabet letters. Type. For other list, you use type. Other list, which is OL, then you write type equals. So if you want it to be an A, big letter A, or small letter A, or Roman figures, or one, two, three, you just indicate it. And once you run it, it shows as um, um, the way you want it to show. My system is hanging. Ah, uh, my system is hanging. My system is hanging. I don't know if I can explain um, HTML block and e-line and class without showing it to you. Okay, no problem. Will you understand it? Yes, I will still read up. Okay, okay. So um, HTML block, HTML block and inline elements. For HTML block, they are the type of um, elements or HTML tag that they start in a different line when you run it. Like for example, if like there's a box around them, an invisible box around them, which is like a padding or a wrapper okay. around them. So that even when you write um, another code close to them, that code is going to start in a different line. They are not going to start in the same line. You understand? Okay. Like yes. let's say the div element. You know the mm. div element? Yes. yes, div element is a block element. So once you write the div element and you write, maybe you after writing the div element, you code, let's say, an image element or a span element after it. Those elements are going to start in a different line. They are not going to start in the same line because there's like a wrapper that is wrapping around whatever you are going to put inside the div element. It's, it's jealous. It wants to have its own space. It doesn't want to share space with other elements. You understand? Yeah, it's... Yeah, so that's HTML block elements. Then inline elements, they are not jealous. They can share space with anybody. Like your image. Your image tag is an inline element. Inline element, for example, 
um, after you've coded an image, and then you put a span, you code a span, um, a span element. So that image element and that span element, they are going to be on the same line because they are both line elements. You understand? Yes. So the Eli element, they don't have a wrapper or a padding around them, separating them from other elements. They can share space with other um, elements. You get? Yes. So HTML classes. So for example, now I, I code um, a paragraph or I code an editing tag and then I want to I want to style that um, paragraph or that editing. I can give them special name. I can okay. give them special name. Don't have to give them special name like the class or the height. I can give them special name so that when I'm styling them in my CSS, I call that special name and that element gets styled. Just so like the variable name. Is it like a variable name? Uh, yes, something like a variable. Like when you're doing JavaScript, like variable A equals to this, then this equals to that. You understand? That A. Yes. That is what you are assigning to the class. Why the variable mm. is the class? Okay. So the class, um, the class attributes, the HTML class attribute, you can give it, it can be used, uh, it can be used for different um, elements. Like for example, I want to give that, and I give that paragraph a class of I create an editing uh, an editing tag, and then I also give it a class of let's say O. You understand? So a class element you can assign the same class name to different HTML elements without it being affected or without it spoiling anything. But then an HTML ID classes and ID they are almost the same thing. Just that HTML IDs are used to are assigned to um how am I going to say this one? Okay. Okay, yes, they are used as a unique ID for an HTML <laughs> element. Like a class element, you can give the same class name to a different HTML elements and then you style them all at once. But an ID, you can only give one HTML element, one ID. Like for example, now I have a paragraph and then I give it an ID of let's say cat. Then I have an heading. I want to give it the same ID as class to cat. It will not work. So I have to change that um, heading ID to something else to get. So HTML ID is unique. It's just to one, um, one element. Like each element has their own ID. But class, you can name different elements the same name for class, and you can style everything together and it's not to still work. So, yeah. Then forms. Let me talk about form. I was talking about, uh, when I was talking about tables, I made mention of forms. Yes. Okay. I don't know, I would still like to share my screen so that you see it. All right. Like Thank you so much, Lovett. Did okay. you get something from that, Ethere? Can you guys hear me? Yes, can you guys hear me? Yes, my can hear you. Are you guys done? Is love it yes, done? Yes, I can hear you. Is love it done? I'm not done. I wanted to try sharing my screen so I can explain forms to uh, okay. okay, so after that, I'll quickly explain the calculator part for some people. They said I should explain it. So do that quickly so that I can explain the calculator part before we go. 
Okay. okay. Let me just explain. All right. So HTML forms, when I was talking about, uh, I was talking about tables, I made mention of HTML form. So yeah. when you're coding an HTML, like for example, now you want to create, um, you want to create a form like Google Forms, you understand? You want mm. to create Google Forms, yes, you need HTML form for stuff like that. So let me share my screen now. Oh, I can't play my screen. So HTML form, yes. If you want to do an HTML form, you start with the tag form. Just like for tables, you start with the tag table. You understand? Okay. Yes. So after you start with the tag form, then you put a label. You, you put a label tag after you've created a tag form, then inside that form tag, you create another uh, label. It'll be better when you are seeing it. But after the form tag, you create a label. And that label is where that box, you know, those box that usually comes with form. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's what you're going to show. Yeah. So. You write the name, you write the first, whatever you want to, whatever data you are trying to pass across. Like so you write, email, first name, or those username. Okay. So after you've opened, you've opened the tag, you wrote, you, uh, you write label, then you write for equals to F name. That means you are trying to say, okay, it's just like a class. For example, a class, you are saying a link. So this label, you are assigning it. You are telling you that okay, this label I'm creating is for first name, which is F name. You have better the first to F name. You understand? Mm. So then yes. you close, then you now write first name before you now close the label finally. Like I'm trying to tell this label that okay, the label I'm creating now is for first name. Okay. So I'm giving that I'm giving that label a class. Like your class name is. F name so that whenever I want to edit you later, I can edit it. You okay. Understand? Yes. So after you've written that label, you now go to um, a different line and then you write another tag, input type. This input type is what brings out that box. The first name is what is beside the box. Like you write first name. Then you open the box, and then the person has to type their first name inside that box. You understand? Yes. yes. So this new type is what inside that box. So you open a new uh, tag, you write input type test. The type that test there is telling the system, the, the HTML that okay, this box, you want it to be a text box. We want people to be able to write inside the box to edit it, to put test in it. You understand? Yes. So after that, write ID equals to F name. The ID F name is telling the input that okay, I want you to appear next to first name. You understand? Okay. I want you to appear next to first name. I don't want you to appear next to another label. Just appear next to first name. So after that, you can close the bracket. Right, you give it a name, F name, then you close the bracket. So when you run it, you see that there's first name and then there's a box next to you so you can impute your name. So HTML, um, sorry, for the impute type, they have different types. You have the test, like the one I just explained. They will also do an impute type for button. Instead of it showing a test field or a box where you can impute your test, it will be shown as a button. You understand? Okay. Yes. You can also be showing as a check box. You know those check boxes? Yes, yes. So you don't need to change the type, the input type. Instead of text, you can put button box. or you can put a check box or whatever it is you want to put there. It will show. Okay. So that's just it. Mm. So. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. No yeah, no problem.
Ça ne peut pas jouer bien. Okay, are you guys done? Yes, ma, we are done. Right. Sorry, Miss Titi. Give me a So, thank you so much, love it. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate that. So now let me share my screen quickly. Miss Titi, please, before you share your screen. All right. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yes, it's actually on the calculator too, but I don't know where the error is coming from. So I don't mind if you make me the code so I can share my screen. Okay. All right, so share your screen before I start sharing. Hey, I cannot find you again, no? I do, okay. Okay, okay. So I've made you co-host, you can share. All right. Miss Titi, why she sharing a screen? I also have a complaint. I have a, I have a question on the calculator. All right. It was showing, like it was running up until I started doing this, I started styling on CSS. Then if I run it, it will tell me local host 8088, something like that. If it shows the local like host system, right? That means your yeah. linking to it is not correct. So just go to where your where you save it and just save it from there. So I should save it in the same folder. No, like what I mean is that load it from your folder. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Can you see my screen? Yes, I can see your screen. All right. Um uh... So or you know. just right click so that you can run with live si live server. Miss Titi, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Okay. Look at the uh let me say the divider. You have start doing margin bottom. So I was mm -hmm. like, I meant to see like all these black borders there, but mine is white. And I don't know where is it the last part. I don't understand. No, after I did margin bottom, at least I think it was after the margin bottom. Then I meant to see the borders are meant to be black, mm -hmm. but the borders is only applying vertically, not horizontally. Because you said the bottom should be white. All right, let me check my code again. No, where? Because you said the bottom, margin bottom. I need it margin bottom. Did you make it white? No, I didn't put any. Can you see my code? Okay, okay. I'm trying to see where the issue is from. I've checked everywhere. I don't know where. That row. Okay. Remove that color white. Color white oh, no, from no, no, screen. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Leave it. Um, Remove that color up there in line 14. Go to line 14. Let me see that color white there. All right. Remove it first. Oh, yeah, reload ahead. It's good as you. So for those who are having that local host problem, you can also right click, right? And roll your stuff from. So looking at it, see the same thing. I don't think that is affecting it. And have you gone through it like step by step? I've gone through it step by step and I'm not seeing where the error is coming from. I cannot figure out the error too, but I'm looking at your code. It should be something from your code, right? Yes. So if you take out time, I'm, I'm looking um, though. Let me, I'm on. Let me yes. take out margin bottom. Then you understand. Okay. okay. Can you see margin bottom now? Margin bottom is supposed to be there so mm -hmm. that it will show you that line. Yeah, yeah. so when I apply the But I don't bottom, know where that white is coming from. From me too. Do you and understand? The background is black. When you did your border, what did you give your border? Did you do any border? Border, okay. Mm -hmm. 
Scroll down. Did you give any border color? Do you give the border? Okay, you didn't style the border. That is why. Okay, I didn't style the border. So style mm -hmm. the border. Leave that color white. Then okay. style border and wrapper. All right. Or go up. Let me see if you start border in the beginning, beginning part apart from wrapper. Yeah, this is everything. Oh, yeah, do start your border. Um, um please, whoever has the, the attendance, please post it for some people. They need the attendance. Miss Titi, when yes. I write click, I'm not seeing the option of running it that you said, the option that you said, I snapped my, um, the options is showing to the group chat. I'm using my phone for this. You will one, see so. live server, you will not literally see run. Are they okay will show us when she wants to do us? Are they okay? Go to your calc button. Okay, you're thinking it's calc button, right? I'm also thinking this. Okay, the border, no, the border is known. My border is known. Oh, that is why you made the border known. I've tried, to, but let me see. Try to like, okay, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Don't give it a one pixel solid or anything. Just make it color. Just give it a color. Okay, I should just give it color. Yeah. Right. Because when you when you gave it border something, can you see that? It's... I tried this, but I've oh, yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. Let me check my own code. All right. I should I should I should have known, right? Yeah. Did I leave it back as known? Yes, yes, leave it back. All right. I'm coming out to open. The folder me I did yesterday on it. All right. Come in. So for the person that was saying that when they write click. Yes, Miss Titi. It's Mujiba. Okay, so um Ronke, can you right click and show them that live server thing? Oh, uh, okay. Okay, sorry. Like when you click on the HTML of file, then so right can you see you click on the HTML file with right server. So can you see that? Oh, okay. Let me try. All right. So try that. In the in the explorer, B. Yes, in the explorer. Okay. okay, I've seen it. Huh? Hello. Yes. Yeah, my my own calculator, the this the color, the yellow color, the or the orange color. It's not displaying on my own screen. The so white too, Abi. No, not the white down, the orange color. It should be something in your code. I don't know if I can send no, this. No. I'm coming. Wrong case, I'll send my CSS. I'll okay. To the group chat, right? To see where the error is. Okay. Are you sending it to the group chat? No, to this chat. All right. I'll... 
So this chat, the time we, so this chat. Look at this, now we do it. And I review, okay. Just go to the uh, HTML file that you have. The, yes. I don't know what you saved yours as. Just please, can someone receive the attendance for Atiba, please? Then you right click. Can you hear me? Yes. So when you right Atiba, click, I don't have the attendance. So I have to send it to you. Okay, right mine click? is. Yes, I right clicked, but mine is saying the first one is open to the side, open with. Oh, there's no open with lifesaver there all right uh did you download the um would you wait, did, you, did you download the live extension? maybe you need to download the live server live from your extension park yes you didn't download it from the extension i think that's why you're not seeing it okay yes can you see my screen what yes i extension? can the extension this box this box for okay. like this is the extension so you see different extensions. Okay, okay, I sent it to the group chat. All right, I will check it out now. So you download Live Share, download Live Share Audio, then download Live Share Extension Pack. So to prevent it from you reloading or reloading, to automatically reload once you have all this installed. So instead of you going back to your own page and reloading again, it automatically reload itself. So if you download those three, Live Share, Live Share Audio, Live Share Extension Pack. Left here, left here, okay. audio and left here, yeah, session. I'll forward it to the group chat. You can check it out. Thank you. All right, thank you. I already did that. So, Mrs. Thank you. I'll check it. I'll check out the uh, CSS. Okay. Your phone number. Oh, so I think this is you can carry on with the class. No, 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 no. So this is fast too. The penalty is 500,000. I was there yesterday. Then I left a message for all of you that you should do with um, phone number and your email. All of you. Up to now. So this is fast too. I was supposed to have like brought this to an end, right? Uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I might want to come and write it. I said they should write it and give it to me. I can one. hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, okay. I can hear you. My... Oh, no, my video, but it's all so, the button text, they are too tiny, even though I use the same um, about font the size idea? as the... They the, oh, yeah. the, the buttons, they are That's very the tiny. Uh-huh. Like, even though I use the same font size... Oh, it's too late. As the tutorial, I told them yesterday, I uh -huh. this money. can you share your screen? Let me see. I don't know what to resize to make it look bigger. All right, let me see your screen, please. Ask them now. Okay, please I make me a call. Yes. Okay, yes. So I'm making a call. I would not like to. But you are still going to type it. Can you see it now? Yep. Okay. Hello? Yes, I can see it. So the buttons are tiny. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Um, did you increase the font size? Um, I when I tried to increase it, it affected the, I think the flex bases. I think they are, um, they are connected somehow. Um, which distance did you use? Because I can see it seems like it's your um font family. It seems it's my what? Can you hear me? Yeah, let me use my earpiece. Okay. 
Okay, I can use this for this queen. Is this supposed to be card, but okay, okay. So it depends on the one your this thing picked, right? It depends on the one your browser. Family for so it's your browser that is going to pick the one that he sees. If you okay. notice, okay, when I was teaching, we gave it three, two, right? So anyone that is saved with your browser, that's one that's yeah. going to win. Do you get okay. it? So that's the issue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get it. Thank you. So it's your, I, I guess it's your font size making and try okay. I say you should try increasing your font size. You said something something. Yeah, when I tried increasing it, it's let me try it now. <coughs> Can you see? Like everything just expands, it doesn't affect only the font. Okay, okay. I see it. Everything actually expands. And you did exactly what they did in the video, right? Yes, I even watched it more than once, to be sure. To be sure. I guess it's, it's your phone family. Because everything that is like that. Yes. It's not yes. just a particular part that is like that. Do you understand? Everything. Yeah. So it's the phone family you use. I... So these are the past 12, past two. So we have to end this class now. Uh, sorry. Yes. I, I said there was something about my own calculator not displaying the orange color there. Okay, let me make you ghost. Uh, uh, no, I'm joining my phone. Okay, so how do I see it to help? <sighs> Okay, let me check your own uh, code and see if I can detect the error then. Okay. So this is my own HTML. Okay. I'm coming. So this is my own HTML. Uh, okay. Okay, see it. Tell me if I'm moving too fast. Yeah, a bit too far. Let me okay. Okay, let's start like this. Let's start from here. When you finish, tell me mm. so I can move. All Okay. You can go up. Okay. Slow down. Okay.
Hello, ma. Yeah? Ma, please, I want to ask a brief question. Okay. I'm sorry, I wasn't in class yesterday evening, yesterday afternoon, some things happened. So yeah. I couldn't come to class. And then I've not been able to watch the video because it came out this morning. So I'll go through it today to work on the calculator. But before we left in the morning, you were teaching us how to unzip a file. After downloading it, there is begin and calculator instruction, calculator mm -hmm. spec. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't, I don't know where I, I don't know how to now make the calculator to come out from, to the VS Code. So open the folder, right? For which one am I? There are four altogether. I don't know which one to open. You begin. You begin. Yes, then watch the video. I've opened that it. Then okay, I'll go to calculator. Yes. Open calculator. Oh, okay. Open it's the beginning folder. Open. When you open the begin folder, you see the calculator.html. You see the Yes, system. I've seen it. You've seen it. Okay, okay. Then watch video to like understand how to like place them. I, I think I, I have seen the videos. All right. So the major the this is just to set up the calculator. Yes, yes. Oh, okay. So design the calculator using the HTML and CSS. Oh, okay, okay. I I have detected uh, an error. There's trying to read it and see if the okay. question will be missed. Sorry, ma. When I clicked on the calculator, it wasn't really opening in my VS Code. Like, open the old folder. Open mm. the folder. Open folder. Okay. Um, sorry, can you scroll it up a bit? Sorry, I the the issue is not it's no you see another result. I we I don't want to like um delay all that. I will have to like check and report back to your DM. Okay. Are you okay with that? Yes, yes. All right. All right, so I guess we end the class now. This is way over time. Tolu, 
Tolu is no more here. I was still recording. Who knows what to do? Or should someone text Tolu on the group chat, please? Oh yeah, oh guys, can someone help me call Tolu or message Tolu? I don't want to end the meeting without it actually recording. Like, I don't know what will happen. Hello. Yes. Uh, the the video recording. Uh, I think it's already a cloud. Um, it's a cloud recording, so we ought to save automatically while ending the meeting. Okay, 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 okay. All right then. So let me stop it. Okay.